Hey, Dennis of Holtz Trailer Sales here again. Just going to do a quick trailer spotlight. Um, this time I have a Diamond C HDT 208 three quarter tilt. It's 22 foot, 16 foot tilt, six foot stationary deck um, with 8K axles. That's what the 208 stands for. Um, we'll just start at the front here. We got uh, your four bolt coupler, of course, your I beam frame, engineered I beam frame. Diamond C makes their own I beam frame, stronger, lighter. Um, 12,000 pound drop leg jack, HD V tongue box lid. So, this is a whole toolbox, lockable toolbox, heavy duty enough to set stuff on, strap stuff on. Um, large gas shock assisted. Like I said, it's lockable, big enough for all your chains and binders, as well as a spare tire. Um, I order all my Diamond C's with this and I don't put the spare tire mount on the side, that way it's not in your way and it keeps the spare tire in there out of the sun. Um, coming back here, we got four standard, a really nice big step on both sides. Um, perfect for even if you got your big work boots and stuff on, you can step on and step off. Um, I outfit all my kilts, rub rail, stake pockets all the way down the side. Just added spots to tie your stuff down, it does have factory D rings. Um, like I said, six foot stationary, 16 foot tilt gives you the 22 feet plus that tongue. Um, I do get these in 20 foot as well, which just changes your stationary deck. It goes from six to four. Um, standard on Diamond C is a lockout valve. Um, you can lock this tilt deck in the upright position. So if you needed to load something a little heavier that wanted the tilt before the back axis was on, uh, this will lock it so you can drive on there, turn the valve, and it'll come down. Anybody who's tried loading a long vehicle on one of these three-quarter tilts without a lockout valve will, will understand what that means. It's just, it's a must-have when you want to put longer equipment on these trailers. Um, obviously, easy latch, two big hooks under there that keep it latched with a pin. Coming back, we got optional. 316s, this cut trailer came with, I ordered with the 316s heavy duty fenders. Um, they're heavy duty, 316s material, welded on. Uh, anybody who's loaded equipment on these, especially these bigger fort, uh, bigger skid loaders, mini excavators, they're getting so wide, you don't have a lot of room here, so you end up hitting fenders, putting them off and on. Those bigger heavy duty ones, you're not gonna wad those fenders up near as easy. It can still be done. Um, also, we got the 8K oil bath axles, so they're oiled hubs. <clears throat> we got the 17.5 wheels, the 16 ply tires, uh, four and a half inch brakes. These are true 8K axles, be careful. There's some manufacturers calling uh, their trailers with 8K axles, which have the smaller, uh, smaller hubs on them, the smaller two and a half inch brakes. These are the true 8K axles. 5.8 studs hold on those big 17.5 solid wheels. 16 ply tires. Of course, Diamond Seat puts the aluminum valve cream caps on there. So uh, you don't worry about hitting, uh, if you hit them by chance, you're not going to break them because they're not those plastic caps. Of course, coming back here, we've got more rub rail stake pockets, some uh, more D rings. We got the diamond plate knife edge. It's not a true knife edge. It's got the Cold rolled steel rod through there it gives it a lot more strength. It's still small enough you can still get your, your smaller man lifts and stuff up it. Um, of course, all sealed wiring harness, LED lights, and of course, Diamond C's sandblasted, acid washed, powder primed, powder coated. Uh, just come, come look at these Diamond C's. They're probably the nicest trailer you can get right now. Um, we'll get you into one of them only here at Holtz Trailer Sales.